Today we're going to take a look at flat patterns in Solid Edge. We're going to open up a non-Solid Edge part and we're going to see how we can take and flatten it. As I open it, I'm going to choose to make it a ANSI sheet metal part. What I want you to notice is when I look at my tree, it's just a part copy. So this came from NX. We can see that it indeed is sheet metal. It's actually the front door of a locker. But we want to just take and flatten this. I'm going to go to Tools, Flatten. The first thing I'm going to have to do is determine the metal and what's the material. So I'm going to say that it's just galvanized steel. And from here, I can key in some different options. What's my thickness? Well, I've already measured it. How fine do I want my flat to be? Do I want to have an offset? I'm just going to choose the front face of the part right click to advance the command and watch what happens. You can see the flat that's being made. We'll just click finish. Look at that. Really quickly we've got our flat pattern. We could take this though to another level. I'm going to do an undo. And I'm back to having just my part copy. This time I'm going to use this command thin part to synchronous sheet metal. It's on the tools tab. And what's nice about this is I'm basically just going to choose one of the faces and notice what happens to my tree. I've got a tab and what else do I have? Flanges so that I could actually go into one of these flanges, make any adjustments that I might need. Then if I wanted to flatten this, because it's an actual tab with flanges, I'll click flatten. And this time, it's not just taking that part and smashing it down, but rather I'm able to flatten it um, in the more typical flat pattern sense. So I choose my surface, I need to choose the X direction, and finish. The nice part about this is I can actually see the tangent lines, so I can see where those bends came into play. And the computer automatically took the material thickness, so I didn't have to do any measurements or anything like that. From here, we can create a drawing of our flat pattern. We can see my three views that are already created. Maybe I want to add the flat pattern. I'm going to click View Wizard. And from here, I'm just going to go into my properties. I'll choose the flat pattern. And I'll just drop that down. I'll then add a bend table. So I choose the flat place the table. Look at that. Now I know what the rad is, the angle, the direction, and from there you're good to go.